and welcome to another episode of Carbs. You know, show us in the car. MBS Wall Kitsubi Carbs. Man, Zion here. Uh, we are back at Arby's trying two items in one video. Uh, the first one is uh, off of their new Sandwich Legends menu. Uh, these are two of them are limited time. One is apparently permanent. Uh, the one I'm trying is the Texas Brisket Sandwich. Uh, and it says that it is a smoked brisket, uh, pickles, crunchy onion strings, and barbecue sauce inspired by famous Franklin barbecue served on Texas toast. Um, the only thing I'm going to take off there is 100% the pickles, because uh, gross. And then I also have uh, the new Oreo bites. Uh, so we're just trying to play a little uh, catch-up game, because at the moment, uh, you know, we were stopping on carbs for a while. As you can see, they're all rolling through. I just woke up. So, hey, let's let's have some... Let's have some delicious Arby's. Well, that is not in the container I thought it would be in. Uh, make sure to go ahead down in the description and uh, support us on Patreon if you do want to get main shows and mid-month challenges early as well as little exclusive shit. Uh, and also Twitch. We're on there almost nightly. Uh, I'm trying to at least pop on for a few hours every night if I can. So they're both down there. All right, what does this look like? It smells great. All these different meats. I did take off most of the pickles, so hopefully we'll buy the corner that doesn't have it. <laughs> the pickles are so gross. All right, try it out. I will say, I think it needs more sauce. Um, the bread, the bread's the worst part, actually. This Texas toast or whatever. Oh, uh, the meats taste great. I mean, they always do. I, I'm, every video, I'm always gonna plug it. Arby's definitely stepped up their game and solved a lot of their issues several years ago. Everything about this is really good, except for the fact that it needs more sauce. And I'm, just the bread, I don't know what's going on with it, but it just kind of tastes like generic white bread. I wish it was maybe toasted a little bit more and made a little bit more like its texture is very fluffy and I think I would prefer for it to be a little more crispy um, the onion rings as well are amazing um, I may not like onions but if you put them in deep fried batter I'm, a, I'm all about it that's good shit all right, let's get another bite that's an interesting one I think it's one of the weaker uh, additions to their menu in recent memory because most things they brought out are just total home runs. They're just so good. There's so many five out of fives. I think Arby's might be one of the places, at least for carbs, that I've given the most five out of fives for. That in general, it's very middle of the road for me. It's a three out of five. If they improve the bread, it would easily bump up to a four. Uh, but other than that, I'm not really sure what else they could do to make it any better. But if you've tried it though, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. All right, the Oreo bites. I gotta say, these already do not look like what I was anticipating. Uh, they almost look like they are like coal. <laughs> the texture on these is so strange. It's probably because they need to make it uh, different from Taco Bell, which does similar type of items. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's bite into it and see what, what it's like. What's it be? Wow, I both like and don't like it again. Hmm. It has kind of a weird, weird flavor at the end. Not terrible, but noticeably different from the delicious donut Oreo that this is. This is essentially a donut Oreo. It's not the worst thing in the world by any means. Just for the amount of terribleness this has to be for you, I don't think it's worth the investment of, uh, of calories. That's interesting. The cream on its own is very good. I got like a little lick. The cream on, cream on its own is delicious. There's something about maybe the breading that I don't like as much. A little bit of a disappointing uh, Arby's trip, I gotta say. I was not expecting to be very uh, middle of the road on everything, but I'm gonna give these a three out of five as well. Uh, it just makes me want to go to a local mom and pop donut place and just get an Oreo donut. Like most of them sell Reese's and Oreo donuts on their own anyway, or just go to like Krispy Kreme or whatever. Like just go there. I don't, ah, mm, just average, which is interesting because uh, it sounds like I'm talking them down, but it's still middle of the road. Like, it's still like, this would be a fine lunch. If I showed up to Arby's and I had the sandwich and I had the Oreos, I'd be like, oh, that was fine. Whereas when I go to like McDonald's or Burger King or whatever, it's like, oh, one out of five or F you, what a shitty product. <laughs> so even when Arby's has a bad day, it's still, it's still at least average. Uh, but what are your thoughts on both of these? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and overall, I have a question for you. What is your favorite go-to fast food item that you get the most over above anything else. I'm very curious about that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Mine is easily, uh, well, I, you know, I consider fast food to be drive-through and it normally Waba Grill is what I eat the most, but none of the Waba Grills in my area have drive-throughs. I know some others in far away do. I would say then if, if by fast food terms, I love a place called Brothers Burgers. 
and I get their breakfast burritos all the time. That's probably my go-to when it comes to fast food. But what is yours? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.